tutorial generating ideas. Um, and this, I think, is one of the most general topics, but also very specific topics mm. um, that we face as illustrators all the time. I'm often asked, you know, where do I get my ideas from? Mm. Um, and that's one of those really open-ended questions, isn't it? I mean, yeah. they could come from anywhere. But I've got sort of four tips, in a sense, for generating ideas. Okay. It's quite simple, some quite mechanical. Enlighten us. Um, well, the first one, Katie, and you should know this, because oh, I yes. bang on about this all yes. the time, <laughs> is keep a sketchbook. Um, that is absolutely invaluable, I think. And would you say that even for people that do digital stuff? Yes. Just, you know, yes, I, I, I would. It all starts with a sketchbook. It all mm. starts with a sketchbook. Get used to thinking on paper. Yeah. Uh, pen in hand. Now, if that then turns into something digital, yeah, okay. and there's no reason why you Perfect can't use a, a, a tablet to to do exactly that mm. sort of thing and collate it. Mm. I've got no problem with that. I personally just love the sketchbook as, a, as an yeah. object, but, but you, can, you can sort of keep a virtual sketchbook. Um, and it's on the pages of that you can explore what it is that you're doing. And in the pages of a sketchbook, you can sort of create, you know, the environment that mirrors the sort of work you might be doing as an illustrator. Um, you know, you can see your work on the page. Mm. Um, you can also make notes to self. You can do lists. You can do sort of, you know, flow of, of ideas and things in any form you like. But you get used to thinking on paper. The sketchbook is your workshop mm. as an illustrator. And you think definitely in a in a book type form or what about loose sheets of paper or anything like that it's you can do that yeah. as long as then you have a way of sort of binding them together mm. keeping them together i i think it's a lot easier to have a sketchbook yeah. I absolutely, portable as well take it with you yeah, and i absolutely love annotated things so maybe mm. do keep the sheets of bits of paper and whatever put stick them into your sketchbook yeah. you know do do that way sort of um you know journal uh, scrapbook, yeah. keep it as a resource. But this should be, you know, your go-to place. This yeah. is where everything you've you've got is in the pages of, and you can flick through and see your working life. Mm. Two, um, I I'm calling this sort of word cues, and this is sometimes what happens when you open up your sketchbook, for instance, or you have a sheet of paper in front of you, and you're just looking, it's blank. Mm. And you're thinking, well, right, I'm sitting down at my desk. What am I going to do? Start. Yeah. Well, how do I start? I've got no ideas. What's going to happen? Well, a really easy thing to do is to go to a bookshelf and, you know, set up these little, almost little sort of routines you can, you know, to, to generate ideas. For instance, go to your bookshelf and at random choose a book and open that book to... Either open it randomly or tell yourself you're going to open it at page 13 or you're going to pay, open it at page 26 or you, mm -hmm. you know, there's all sorts of random ways you can do this. But anyway, pick up that book and maybe count down, either point without looking at, uh, at, at the text or say that you're going to count five lines down. Again, you can do any, mm -hmm. but come up with a line of text, whatever that might be. Um, and take that as your cue. And whatever that is, write it down on your page, create a frame, and illustrate whatever that line of text. Mm. I mean, you said it's kind of, yeah, it's like a kind of warm up, and from that can come exactly. ideas, or it can at least kind of break the, break the creative ice, I guess. <laughs> The apple was red. And there you go, and you do a watercolour of a red apple. Mm. Now, that's, it's as random as that, and it's as simple as that. Yeah. But what you've then started doing is you've started a fruit-based inquiry. 
you know, who would have thought? Uh, who knows where that might lead? It might lead nowhere, but you're beginning, you're doing something. It's a word cue. They can often, you can often come up with wonderful, wacky stuff mm. when you do the old word cues. It's the simplest thing uh, imaginable. Very, very easy to do. It gets you thinking. And these, all these things, keeping a sketchbook, random cues to get started, they make you think. This is generating ideas. The third thing I would say is character building. And I think this links back to sketchbooks. Mm -hmm. Again, everything links back to sketchbooks. But get used to, I would say, just drawing things, you know, anything around you, people around you, people mm -hmm. watching can be a great thing. Just give yourself some time to maybe just observe some people. Mm. If you're shy and you don't like going up, then just imagine some characters. Or, yeah, you can even just, like we said before, kind of look at catalogues or... Yeah. Or even just find people on the internet. There's always there's lots, so much stuff. Lots of visual yeah. sort of stuff to sort of find. Lots of reference. Um, and once you start creating, you know, a character, um, you know, you start drawing something. So this is, you know, a rabbit in a scarf. Um in a uh, in a duffel coat um you then are on a journey uh, of building a character it's a rabbit you can decide what that rabbit's name is uh for our in our sense it's he's julian he's julian the rabbit he's in uh, a duffel coat in a coat you know, what's in the pocket of that coat and what relevance does it have to Julian? It could be a carrot, if we're being very generic, or it could be a stopwatch that is very relevant uh, because he's late for a very important date. Who knows, this is a suddenly wonderland, you know, sort of, you know, uh, alternate sort of story universe. Um, he's got a scarf. He's a well-dressed rabbit. Is it cold where he lives? Is he snowbound? What does his rabbit hole look like? In what world and environment does he does he live in? If he's in a in a picture book, is his world so simply his figure? It's if, just the more questions you ask. It is. You keep asking yourself questions. Asking questions, and that way you start to build both your character and the world of your character and the story of your character. And as an illustrator, what you are doing is you are sort of illustrating a self-built story. Again, generating ideas. Do this over and over again. If Julian is irritating, you don't like Julian, he doesn't do what you want him to do, move on to Eric the Hedgehog. You know, there's always another page, another page to turn and a way to keep generating. Mm. Julian has nice glasses. I want to tell Julian's story even as I write this. But anyway, that's that's part of it. I want to disappear into the rabbit hole with Julian. Um, so again, generating ideas in a sketchbook, word cues, character building. And finally, I would say the generating ideas um, can be something that's not just interior to, to you. It can be an exterior thing. And I think look for context. And that is a way of generating ideas. So, um, favourite album. I'm going very old school. Look, I'm drawing a CD, but you know, obviously, you can be streaming. I'm going to do some headphones there. Listen. Well, the vinyl's coming back. So. It is. Yeah. Listen to music, and then maybe produce illustrations to your favourite songs. You know, that's a way of generating some ideas. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fan art. Have you seen a film that you've particularly enjoyed? Yeah, um, create your own artwork to James Patterson as Batman, um, you know, or, or whatever it might be. Sort of, you know, make make that, you know, a thing that you do. Illustrate your enthusiasm 
for the, something you, you've seen. Um, you know, also think about other places. If, have you seen a sort of particularly, you know, enjoyable or nice design on something, you know, on some curtains, on some fabric? Start. Or even just kind of poetry and books that you've read and... Absolutely. Or absolutely. books that you would like to illustrate, like what are your favourite books that haven't been illustrated or maybe they have and... Yep. And you would you, like to you do want the... to do your own. Mm. Yeah. So, yes. Um, so, that, you know, try lots of different uh, cues for exactly that inspiration. All of this can go into your sketchbook. Keep putting stuff into your sketchbook. And then what happens... You're generating these ideas, you're working. Someone comes along and says, you're just the person we're looking for to illustrate this book about a rabbit who's late. Uh, he's called Julian, by the way. You go, great, I think I've got something uh, there that I can show you. So this is about never sitting and being tyrannised by a blank sheet of paper.